We continue to follow the latest on the migrant crisis happening at the U.S.-Mexico border. And tonight, a deputy from Jim Hong County is recovering after a crowd of immigrants escaped what at first glance looked like a FedEx truck. It turned out to be fake, and once stopped, the people inside scattered like a stampede. Yeah, all that caught on video released tonight from sheriff's deputies. The migrants found in the fake FedEx truck part of a cartel smuggling operation. Our Michael Gibson has that report. Jim Hall County Sheriff's deputies followed what by all appearances looked to be a FedEx truck driving through Hebronville. But once the truck stops, you can see it was not driving around simply delivering packages, but instead was loaded down with over a dozen immigrants as part of a cartel smuggling operation. Unfortunately, the chief deputy was standing in their way when they all piled out of that van. They just kind of ran over him like stampede type. Actually, he ended up with a broken rib. He ended up uh. with a broken rib. And and that that video is, I mean, you can see where these guys are just bailing. I mean, and this is in the middle of town. And in broad daylight. And that van wasn't even a FedEx vehicle. It had been painted and had decals placed on it by the cartel to make it look real. Turned out to be a clone FedEx van. And it was loaded with about 15 or 16 people in there. Sheriff Kiko Alarcon has been with the department for 30 years. And for the last 20 years, he's been the sheriff here. He says this crazy FedEx smuggling operation is just the latest effort by the cartels to move immigrants through his county. Besides clone vehicles, the sheriff says the cartels are now hiring drivers as young as 15 years old. What we're seeing a lot of also is uh, these people are trying to get uh, kids to transport these illegals from point A to point B. And they're enticing these kids with, well, you know, money. You, you get a 15, 16 year old and tell them, you know what, the risk is not that high and they're not gonna do anything to you because you're juvenile and you pay them, I don't know, four or $500. The sheriff tells three news, the smuggling operations are now working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And with just three deputies working during the day and having to cover 1,200 square miles of the county, he doesn't have the manpower to handle that kind of volume, and neither does Border Patrol. I know from talking to Border Patrol and administrators, they, they do say they're shorthanded because uh, they have people going down to do processing and stuff like that. So we are shorthanded all, all around. Pretty much everybody's shorthanded. Congressman Vicente Gonzalez agrees that more manpower and technology needs to be moved to the area. Clearly, we do need more boots on the ground. There's a shortage there. and But more than anything, I think we should have cutting-edge technology as well on the border. That would be welcomed here in Jim Hall County, as this sheriff says his deputies cannot be everywhere at the same time. But they will continue to try and stop the smuggling operations which are overwhelming them right now. Michael Gibson, 3 News.